Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falca Paladin coming at ya with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today, gonna be Idra versus uh, QKR ZKTM here on Heartbreak Ridge, left side. It is a Terran player, he's purple. It is Idra! And on the right side, an unknown Zerg player who is brown today. We're gonna call him uh, QK. How about that? Maybe quick. Quick for short. One syllable. Very fast and easy. Alright. So it's been a while since I've cast a TVZ featuring Idra. He is very, very good at them. I kind of feel like it's it's his best matchup, or was his best matchup when he was active. Hmm, he retired from StarCraft, I don't know, maybe around 2016 or so. Had a good career in Brood War, good career in StarCraft II. Lots of raging, and single-handedly got the Roach supply value in StarCraft II changed from two to one in the beta so how about that all right so drone scouting here is quick 350 apm spamming 480 for idra overlord checking for proxies no proxies to find but hey what else is the overlord gonna do in the first minute or two of a brood war game Jump, jump. All right. <laughs> Barracks timing. Whoop. Here at about 11 supply. SCB comes off the line. There is drone harassment. SCBs are used to this. It's usually from a probe, though. It's a bit odd to have a drone try and harass your SCB, but not out of the question by any stretch of the imagination whatsoever. And yeah, so far, everything's good. He's just good with Marines. Medics. Fuck. Excuse me, fire bats, that sort of thing. And hatch first in it here is our guy Quick. So he recognizes it's not a proxy. It's not like a super fast two racks opener either, based on what he saw. He is sending the drone all the way home after taking some damage here. That is a battle damaged drone for sure. Do you remember when toys would come with battle damage options? Like I had a. Was it a He Man? I think it was a He Man. Or a Skeletor. I can't remember which one it was exactly. Long time ago. But basically, if you hit them on the chest, it would flip over to this, like, damaged version of the of the Insignia, right? Pretty neat stuff. High-tech toy technology for 1987, I can tell you what. Anyway, second base coming in here from Idra. No gas yet. So not going for, like, a super fast stim timing or anything like that. Probably get a bunker up in that case, just to defend against any early Ling harassment. Macro hatch, loving that from Quick. One of my favorite things in StarCraft are macro hatches. And spawning pool. Blorp. Doesn't make a sound when it comes up, but we'll just, uh, in the replay, we'll say it goes blorp. Because that's what it is. Let's see what's going on in the world. Uh, oh, by the time you watch this, I'll have seen the latest Marvel movie, which is Doctor Strange and the... Multiverse of Madness, that's what it is. It's kind of an odd title, but what else? It's cool. Second rack's now on the way from Idra. Also, Moon Knight will have finished up its season one. Also, uh, what else am I watching right now? Ozark. Oh, yeah. Ozark on Netflix with uh, Michael Bateman. Great show. Like, really enjoy it. Got a few episodes to watch. It might be... I don't know. I don't know what the ending is yet. So I wonder if it ends well. If it ends well, it's going to go down with one of the greater shows of the, you know, of the century, honestly, since the year 2000. So what else? Lair timing coming in before we get the metabolic boost out. So there's going to be slow. Wow, really? You're going to slowly move across the map and try to see what you can do. Interesting, interesting. Like I said, a bunker might be necessary here for Midra. Uh, the academy is not done yet. So like I said, no fast stim, no medics available here either. But slow link attacks aren't much of a threat. Like if they had metabolic boost, that'd be a thing. And it's on the way. It's just not here yet. And here come the ling. Okay, so only two of them. Eh, four of them. Look, four lings? It's four slow lings against six marines. You're not going to win that battle, friend. So I guess you're just going to sit here and stare at the command center and be a creepy stalker type zergling. At least you're with friends. Like, that's the thing. If you're hanging out with other people doing this, it's less creepy than if you're by yourself. Which is probably just a function of our tribal nature of how humans were hunter-gatherer 
tribes and whatnot way, way back in the day. Being alone is weird and creepy on like a subconscious level, whereas being with other people is not. Like being with other people is dangerous at that point, right? It's not creepy, it's danger. If you're worried about it. So let me poke in, see the SCV count is really high. It's 32 to 23 workers right now. But Spire's about halfway complete. Engineering bay coming up as per usual. Two sunkens up just in case the Marines decide to run across the map right now. And there's not much the Lings can do to stop that. So we can sunken these up if necessary. Get a third sunken as well. How much gas do we have? We're going to go for about nine mutas to start this thing up. You can continue to make mutas after that point if you're into it. And if you're not into it, cool. That's fine too. So engineering bay brr, popping up. Yeah, I don't know who this Terran player is, but he's holding 378 p.m. at five minutes, which is just okay. This guy is serious now. He is a seriously good Zerg player. He's doing everything right. His timings are crisp. He's on top of the play. If you know who this is, if you know who ran with the username QKRZKTM in like 2008, 2009, tell me about it. I, no, 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 no. Lings. Come attack with the mutas. Zerglings do that stuff. Are we not making mutas? There we go. Seven mutas now kick in. Okay. I just talked about his timing. Was he supply blocked? He might have been supply blocked. Which is why he couldn't pop the mutas when he wanted to. That sucks. Like, that's such an important thing for Zerg. Is the spire finishes, you have saved up all these minerals and all this gas. And then you go to make nine mutas and it's like, no, you can't. Oh, there's 11 too. You don't have enough supply and you're like, oh, why? Why did I forget overlords? Yeah. So these things being alive with a full 11 muta stack is going to be pretty good. Which is why Idris pulled back to his missile turret home. Turrets are popping. There you go. Ready to go. Working on plus one attack on the engineering bay. Serves that dual purpose. Very important stuff. So the mutas are coming in. Third base would be good right now. I think Overlord's checking to make sure there's nothing to stop that from happening. And a drone going up for the third. There we go. So third timing, fantastic here from quick two. An 11 muta stack is pretty scary, honestly. Gonna try to dart in. Ah. Yeah, okay, you're killing medics and stuff, but also you just lost a couple mutas. So you gotta watch out for that. Now another muta goes down. Can hear the muta death sound. Probably. I don't know. I don't know what sound system you're watching this on, but a surprising number of you watch this on mobile. As these mutas are doing all right. Like, this is pretty good from Quick. He's not keeping all of his mutas alive. He's got eight of them remaining of the 11. Medics getting killed. Reducing that medic count is super important as the game goes on. But I checked the stats the other day. And, like, 40% of you are on mobile. And 40% of you are on desktop. And I was like, dang. I wonder if they count stuff like Roku and Apple TV and other streaming services. Or streaming devices as uh, being mobile. I bet they do. I bet they do. Yeah, so losing a couple more mutalisks there. He's not making any more. He's getting lurkers. He's going to go for that hive. Get, get that dark swarm up. Get that third base down. And so far, I think everything is just fine. Zerglings is making sure the third base can't just be nakedly expanded to. Which is like, what am I... I don't know. It's not a pet peeve of mine, but the number of players that try to do it at the professional level kind of blows my mind as the hive comes up. Like, you show up, and you just send a worker down, bam, expand. Nothing to defend, nothing at all to defend it, and an enemy shows up with one unit, and you're done. So, like, send an escort. I understand Idra would like to have a full complement of stuff to defend his natural, and maybe make it expand out here, but can't do it against someone who's paying attention. It's, just, it's rare how many times it's being watched, though, right? I love this overlord positioning, or like this, too, for drops maybe coming out. This guy is going to check this 12 o'clock spot, too, for maybe a naked expansion attempt, a ninja expansion attempt from Idra there. And Quick is doing what he needs to do. He's getting another macro hatch. Gotta say, the number of macro hatches today, it, it's not, it doesn't belong to any one player, right? But it's kind of a terror thing. <laughs> Like, Terror is someone who just makes a million macro hatches. He doesn't really go for the lurker stuff, though. He's more about macroing his face off and throwing absolute wave after wave of units into the enemy. Oh, this lurker positioning as Idril leaves. 
Okay, okay, there's tanks and there's detection now. Irradiate is up. Get the lurkers out of there. Get them out of there. Pull back. The mutas are all going to die. Come on, mutas. You're better than that. Run away. Run away. You don't have to engage with anything in StarCraft. You're faster than everything in the game. Well, I think Lings are maybe a little bit faster, but Lings can't kill you, so it's fine. Anyway, we're going eight racks here for Idra with a little tank support, and then maybe we'll fall off the tank stuff and start working on more medics, more science vessels with the gas, and divot not. So it's 108 to 85 supply in favor of Idra. He's got a nice little window where he's doing very well, but Adrenal's on the way, and a Defiler Mound's on the way at 10 minutes, and nice Overlord sniping there. Vision's now gone. Siege tanks are siege run! Oh, Lurker dies. Another one gets irradiated. Got a burrow in here to keep the one that's irradiated away from the friends. Third base under assault. You got to engage here. Do you want to engage here? Probably not. But doing your best to kill the siege tanks so the Lurkers are more effective. Lurker spines getting a couple nice target firing there by Idra. But guess what? Extra Lurkers have arrived. And... Ow! Ow! Be careful! Be careful! God, saving this base was a humongous... Humongous plays. Alright, man. Quit doing some good stuff. No third base for Midra yet. He might start thinking about taking a third base, though. Got double upgrades running. Got... There we go. More and more barracks. The two ports. All the things you want to do this particular strategy that is so popular, it always makes my commenters upset. <laughs> when a Terran player just doesn't go mech. Why would you not, not go mech? Because third players struggle so much harder with it than this. And I agree. And I don't know. And I don't know. I honestly don't. Dark Swarm. The Filer gets irradiated. Consuming. Secondary Dark Swarm before you die. What? Ugh. A little bit late. A little bit late on the Dark Swarm. And now the third base is in trouble again because the tanks are back. Burrow in. Burrow, burrow, burrow. You used all your energy. Oh, hang on. Siege tanks. You used all your energy on irradiating everything else. Well, Defilers in particular. This is a strong push. Can quick hold it. Can quick hold it. Well, Dark Swarm is up, and Adrenalings are here, and so everybody on Sieges and runs, and another Dark Swarm. And it says, this is bullcrap. Why do I have to deal with Dark Swarm? I've been watching, I think I've talked about this a lot recently, but I've been watching the 2017 Holiday Bash, featuring uh, Day9, Artosis, Tasteless, and Control, and they refer to Dark Swarm as Invincibility Cloud. <laughs> Plagues on the way. Ultralisk Cavern coming in here, and third base is established. Where are you going? Come back. Come back, command center. Where? You need to land here, though. All right. Wings with adrenal. Oh, and the Dark Swarm. Get out of there. Good job. Nice pull out of the Dark Swarm range. And irradiate. Defiler. Consume. No, he's not consuming. He's just killing Lings with his irradiated body. Until he finally dies. Scourge! Good connection. Okay, that's the first, second, or third science vessel to die today. I remember there were some ones that died up here too to Scourge, so never mind. It's not the first one at all. But kindness plating coming in. Third base established. Nothing actually mining from it now from Indra. But he's up 50 supply, but again, the trick is here. Plague's out, and Dark Swarm is out, and Adrenal is done, and all these little factors are complete now for quick. He's got all the pieces he needs to win this game. Gosh. Dark Swarm Lurker, did you bring any siege tanks? No rats. Tough times for you then. Plague! Ooh. Science Vessel goes down. Ling's trying to run inside and get absolutely murderized as well. Radiating the Lurkers. This is why they're here. It's for that very purpose. <laughs> So three base to four base. I did miss the expansion of Quick down in this bottom right, and I apologize for that. He's expanding top left. No, he's not. 
That is not a hatchery at all. The minimap, it kind of looks like it is, but it's just Zerglings. The upgrades for these guys are two armor and no attack upgrades. Strangely, he's working on them because he's going to rely on Ultras later. It's two and upgrades here for Le Terran. No, 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 no. There you go. Pull it back. Plague! Ooh, science Vessel down! And Reviler runs to his death. Ultralisks in production. Can they pop in time to help with this attack? Where it's 160 to 91 total supply in favor of the Terran. No, the Scourge! Oh, Idra figures it out. Saves them. Top left, Ling Group. Does pretty well, but Firebat shows up and does a lot of damage to those boys. With their plus two attack and their splash damage and Firebats are good. Anabolic Synthesis on the way for Los Ultralisks. Four basings or versus a three basing turn. This is pretty good right now. Ling's Ultras are out. The armor for these guys is five with another available one on the way with that Carapace upgrade in production now. On the other side, we are getting some Siege Tank. By that, I mean there's one Siege Tank in production. We've got a couple already out. We're not going crazy on it. It is potentially possible to, trans uh, to transfer... What am I talking about here? Transmit? Why can't my brain remember this word? Tread... Nope. Tradition. Nope. Tra wow, my brain. I am struggling right now. Transition! Transition into mech in this matchup whenever you want, pretty much. I mean, it's you got to find a window for it. This is not a bad time to try to do it, actually, for Idra, but he's not... It's not what he's done for the most part in the TZs of his that I've cast. So the Ultras are here. The speed is really important for them. Yeah, if you want to get a Radiate off, you're going to die. you got to hang back, right? You're going to hang back. Dude, these medics kind of hang... Oh, great hit. Fantastic connection there from Quick. This is a good TDZ. Hit that like button if you're excited about the outcome of this one. Because it was at 180 supply. Quick's at 112. Not hot. But the Dark Swarm and the Plague and the Ultras are going to be really good against this whole Marine Firebat medic thing. Like, exceptionally good. The Irradiates are coming hot and heavy, though. Without science vessels, this strategy would be really bad. Oh, but losing science vessels? Yeah, it makes it difficult, it turns out. Go left or right. Pick a direction, guys. I guess we're going left. And sitting, and then going right. Okay, fine, whatever. He's fine. He's horribly outnumbered, but he's fine. Plus 50 Defiler Energy upgrade on the way here to getting some drop ships as a dress scourge connect. Whoa! No connections and like five ultras died there. Four. Where are the dark swarms? I don't know if that was he didn't expect to run into Idra's army there or something. Oh man. I don't think Ida would not try to expand here. Idra's main army is in the general neighborhood. And maybe hide the drone in the top right corner as much as you can. Maybe wait for a defiler to show up here. He's going to try to come ultras left and lurkers right. So the lurkers burrow in. And then the ultras come on the left side. And oh, okay. The lurkers are dying. The lurkers are dead. The ultras have to pull away. They don't have the most HP remaining. One of them is at 8 HP, which is not a good number at all. And then the expansion is attempted. And you radiate. There it is. You radiate that one. If he gets too close to Ultralisk in the middle here, he's going to kill him. So good to radiate right now. I, I mean, honestly, running in here would not be too bad for Midra's army. Uh, reinforcements from Quick. Maybe need to try to make something happen here as well. Drop being attempted down to the south here from Idra. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> okay, good unload and kind of saved. Two of the dropships got saved. They're very injured, but that's fine. Ultralisk roars happening. Unloading in this area seems ill advised. Okay. It seemed ill advised. It really did. Ah, but it worked out. It totally worked out. He had enough Marines to do it. He got plus three attack on these dudes. Oh, he's going to snipe the Defiler Mound. And he's going to take down this top left base, too. I feel it. I feel it. It draws bones. One Ultra is not quite enough to handle plus three attack Marines of this magnitude. So the Ultras are fighting in the top left. They're gonna die. This Ultralisk. Oh, we got a friend, but no! Oh, initial Ultralisk does go down. So the Defiler Mound dies. Replacing that has gotta be really a priority right now from Quick. Oop, expanding here too is Idra. 
Sing Why is there a defiler on its own? Oh, I guess the army's sort of coming. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Plague gets tossed down on the SCVs, which is nice. I like that play quite a bit. The irradiates are coming hot and heavy, and these scourge are not going to connect on anything. That's right. Get out of there. Shoo. Shoo, scourge. Take the high ground. 176 to 96 supply. Quick needs a decisive victory if he's going to win this game, and I just, I don't know. He hasn't been able to get a fifth base up. Not that Idra's really been able to get a fourth base up either. This exists, but not really. Ultras, where's the Dark Swarm? Dude, that's why you snipe the Defiler Mound. It's for that reason. It's so the Ultras are not invincible murder machines anymore. They're good. It takes a lot of shots to kill them. Oh my gosh. Okay, that would have been massive. Okay, that was a lot of Scourge for one science vessel. That's not going to work out in the long run. And I think Andrew might have done this. Like, I don't want to call it now, but... Nah, okay, that's a sick plague. Where's the Mutalisk, though? We got to make a Muta if we're going to do this thing. Pull back into the dark. Oh, he plagued his own Ultralis. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look who's retaking top left. Quick. And Idra immediately is like, no, you can't have that. I'm sorry. Everything inside this little dark swarm is dead now. Because it got irradiated into oblivion. Cancel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's the single mutilisk replacing. Oh, did the ultralisk cavern die too? Where's my new defiler mound? There it is. Okay. I was gonna say, it's got to exist. All right, single mutilisk is on a mission right now. It's like, ah, yes, there's only one of me. I know why that is. Oh, don't die though. Okay. Oh, but they're all super injured. Make more mutilisks. You can kill all of these science vessels. Pullback Scourge, not it, not fast enough. Not fast enough on the pullback. This is a great game. There's the Radiates are coming, dude. If these were dead... Nice Plague, wow. The Irradiated Ultralisk against Plague Marines is not a good time. But Idra tries to make it a good time. Oh, the Zerglings are a problem, too, when you've been plagued in the face. All right, Mutas. Your job is to catch these science vessels. All but two of them are virtually dead. Do it now. Do it now while everyone's distracted. Get in there. Oh, pulling back. Targeting the Mutas. Irradiates both of them. Keeps the science vessels alive. Idra, you boss. I told you he's good at this matchup. He's really good at this matchup. He has to make more Mutalisks. And Idra's like... Spending money to repair my science vessels? Who would do such a thing? Top left, getting replanted again from Quick. It's like, look, I need a fifth Vespine Geyser for all the Ultralisks I'm making right now. I'm using all of my gas. All of the time. I, it, that just be, that would change everything, right? So these, okay, there's more new science vessels here that are not plagued. Coming around the backside, maybe? Just Idris got really nice awareness of what's coming his way. That's just a handful of links. Don't donate Zerglings. What are you doing? Scourge, connect on the ones that are full. Okay, I think that's what he did. I think he might have killed three of them that actually, yeah, that had full H. Oh, <laughs> full HP. And uh, the radiates are coming fast and hard. Top left not happening. Deja vu, indeed. Coming down. That's a lot of siege tanks, actually. Huh. So it's not just eight racks. And you know, a good number of siege tanks, they don't even have upgrades. With upgrades are very good. Without upgrades, they're fine. But Quick hasn't been able to really threaten any of the expansions of Idra today. And every time he tries to go top left, Idra shuts it down because the science vessel is scouting it. So, 292 supply. I think Idra's got this thing. Man, as a Zerg player, like, how frustrating is it to see that many science vessels with no health just be fine? That's not how this should work. <laughs> Quick, just not able to get those connections with the Mutas or the Scourge, really. I mean, Idra's taken some science vessel losses today. But it hasn't been, right? But it hasn't been enough, I guess, is the best way to put that. I'm 
The Zerglings have two, three upgrades. They don't have that plus three attack for the the melee yet, which I don't know if that's a huge deal necessarily. Okay, good Dark Swarm Ultra attack down here, though. That's going to be fine. The other side, Idra just standing in. Lurkers getting picked out. Scourge, no, 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 no. Oh, they do connect on one of them. Darks, okay, no Dark Swarm, but Defensive Matrix is up. And I think that's it. There's just enough here from Idra to push through the natural base into the main base. We haven't seen a Dark Swarm in a hot minute, especially during this attack. And Quick is dead. Idra done near getting that win here at 25 minutes and 36 seconds. Two Ultralisks. This is me. I'm like, I've got two Ultralisks. Why aren't all the Marines dying? Well, it's because it's only two Ultralisks, and there's like 37 Marines here, and your Ultralisks are irradiated now. I mean, yes. Great. You pushed him back. He's coming around, though. Yeah. I mean, once you don't have the Spellcasters, and your enemy has the Spellcasters, you're just gonna hate your life at that point. So, yeah, this is Idra. This is Idra getting a win against a pretty good Zerg player who knows how to play the game, but just took care of... <laughs> There's a Dark Swarm and there's a Plague, and once again, Idra has to fall back, but Quick taps out! Quick's like, not enough! It was not enough! And Idra is your winner in 26 minutes and 23 seconds. <gasps> Woo! Hit your like button if you enjoyed that one. Terran fans are happy about it, full show. And yeah, I mean, how many of these science vessels that were incredibly injured got repaired up is the question, and how many died? The Muta's got zero kills. I mean, once they were plagued, Idra was babysitting them a lot more closely than he was before that point. Which makes sense. They're more vulnerable, but great job. Fantastic show denying this base over and over and over again. Really couldn't get any defense mounted to hold it for any length of time. Could quick. And then that's it. Like, once he's mined out of his four bases, never got a fifth. It's just not going to work out for him. Good starvation techniques here from Idra. And good job taking this base, too. This is really important for him as well. Single Ultra Lisk Wander down here. Got murderized. This tank's casually got nine kills. So, great job, Idra. No bases really died today. If you can avoid just getting overrun and losing a ton of SCBs and kill losing an entire base to this Ultra Ling strategy, you're going to do pretty good, right? You're going to be pretty okay with yourself. No drops attempted from Quick here either, which I do think would have made a difference. But, yeah, Idra just playing the eight racks very, very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There it is. Nice irradiates. Good defensive matrix up here, too. He did catch a lot of plagues, but they didn't really cost him as much. Right? It didn't cost him nearly as much as getting plagued feels like it should, if you watch a lot of TVZs, right? Anyway, well done. Let's check out that final score. Bam! 166,000 points for Quick, 182 for Idra. Outproduced the Terran 6 to 4, but it was a 2 to 1 kill death ratio for Idra. It's close. It really is close here. It's a lot of Lings, though, and Lings kind of messed those numbers up a bit. Resources mined, Quick outmined by about 5,000 resources in this game, but over 26 minutes and against this strategy, you kind of need to out outmine it more strongly if you know what i'm talking about so well done i mean absolutely fantastic display from idra i you know i like people to remember that idra was a good player it's not just that he's ragey like there's plenty of people who are ragey in starcraft <laughs> that aren't good right but idra is a good player and he's ragey so that's why you know who his name is but hey that's enough of that. So that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.